Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I am Tom, and today we're talking about. Payment plans.、Uh, this is important for our dear listeners who are students now,、mm. especially if you're in high school and you're considering going to university somewhere, maybe here in Taiwan or maybe overseas somewhere. If you are listening to our program and you can understand everything we say, I would say your English ability is quite advanced, and you're probably planning to attend university. In North America, someplace, and、uh, well, you might have rich parents. You might not. Okay, so it's let's just say you can't really afford to pay for your university in one lump sum. So you might be making some payment plans, or、mm-hmm. at least、uh, some payments as part of a payment plan. So、uh, these、uh, questions that we're going to ask today could be useful to you. They could, and maybe your parents can even afford to pay for your education, but they want you to learn to work hard, so they make you pay for it.、Uh, my parents paid for my bachelor's degree, but they they sat all the kids down when we were young and said, "Guys, if you want to go on to get a bachelor's or a master's or a doctorate, that's on you. You're going to pay for it yourself." So, I paid for my master's. My brothers、uh, paid for their MBA and their law school education, and. I think、uh, learning to work hard as a young person is good for you. So let's talk about this because if you are financing your own education, you'll probably need to borrow some money, and that's called financial aid. Let's read through our frequently asked questions, and then we'll come back and discuss it. How can I pay these installments? There are several methods by which installment payments can be made. You can pay by credit card, though your bank may charge you a small fee for doing so. Another option is to pay electronically by the AMC University Financial Services website. You can also pay in cash or by check at the financial aid office. What happens if I change my class schedule during the semester? If you add new classes or drop out of any classes you've enrolled in, your tuition fees will be recalculated by AMC University. This will alter the balance that needs to be paid, and the remaining installments will be adjusted accordingly. How will I know if my installment amount has been recalculated? You will receive an email from AMC University Financial Services. To inform you about your recalculated tuition and remaining installments. In addition, you can contact the financial aid office at any time to receive up-to-date information regarding your payment plan. What happens if I fail to make a payment? If you fail to make a payment, you will receive an email from the financial aid office at once. You will incur additional fees for a late payment. Moreover. You will be at risk of termination of studies if a full payment is not made by the deadline. The time has come for us to discuss the contents of today's lesson. Again, we're talking about frequently asked questions in regard to a payment plan. Remember, last time we talked about、uh, Douglas. He's attending some kind of、uh, university someplace,、mm-hmm. and、uh, he's going to make out or he's going to、uh, arrange. Uh, some kind of payment plan because I guess he can't pay everything all at once. So these are questions that students might have about making these payments. These are frequently asked questions. Frequently here just means they are asked very often.、Uh, they are questions you hear very often. And of course, most of us know these frequently asked questions as FAQ or FAQs. Which you'll often see on websites, FAQs,、hmm. and、I'll, most of the time, I think in America we'll say FAQ.、Uh, but frequently asked questions is the the full name for FAQ. So, how can I pay these installments? Yeah, you got to pay the installments, but how do you do it? Is it cash? I know checks aren't very popular in Taiwan, at least from a, an individual to an individual, company to company. It's okay. But how do you pay? Can you pay by credit card? 
Hmm. Or a bank transfer or、yeah. something like that. Let's to, look. Yeah, let's find out what the、okay. answer to that question is. It says here there are several methods or several ways by which installment payments can be made. Okay, so you can do this in many different ways.、Uh, for example, you can pay by credit card. Uh, though your bank may charge you a small fee for doing so, unless you pay off that credit card in full each month, you'll be charged interest, right? Yeah, exactly right.、Mm -hmm. That's、uh, how credit cards make money by charging fees or interest here. So、yeah. again, in this sentence, we have the verb to charge, which means that's how much money they ask you to pay,、uh, and also charge can be a noun.、Uh, what's the charge? You know, how much is the charge? How much do I have to pay? Well, the bank charged you interest, for example, or something like that. So yes, indeed, you might have to pay a small fee if you use your credit card or if you pay by plastic, as we. Often say in English.、Uh -huh. Another option is to pay electronically via the AMC University Financial Services website. So this is paying electronically. I guess you're paying online here.、Uh, I don't think you need to go to an ATM machine to do this. You can go to their website. And then you can make the payment there by submitting, I guess, an account number or your credit card number or something like that. Yeah, we could do that. When I was going to Jiangda, they they had a website, and you could go and you could transfer payment that way. Maybe you could pay by PayPal or something、mm. like that. You can also pay in cash or by check if you go in person to the financial aid office. And these days, you know, time is、uh, pretty short. It's nice if you can just get online and do it there, or Maybe go to the bank and transfer payment that way. I could do that as well, which is really, really convenient. I must say. Okay, Tom. What's the next question? Here's the next question. What happens if I change my class schedule during the semester? Ooh, that happens quite frequently, actually.、Uh, your schedule at school, of course, is just the list of classes that you're going to take and when they occur. You might have two classes on Monday, maybe three classes on Tuesday and Thursdays. It, it just varies depending on what you're taking.、Uh, my choir class,、uh, because you have to sign up for that, even though you audition, it was every day. So if your class schedule changes, it means you've either added an additional course or class. Class or dropped one. Maybe you went and attended one day, and you thought, "Oh, I don't like this professor," or "Ooh, the homework looks like it's going to be awful," or you know some other reason.、Uh, maybe your best friend is taking the same class with a different professor, and you'd prefer that, so you drop it and sign up for another one. There are various、uh, ways you can do this. I used to sign up for more classes than I knew I was going to take. And then drop maybe two or three of them after the first week or so. Yeah.、Uh, for the same reasons you said, maybe、yeah. a bad professor, or maybe I would have liked to attend a class with somebody else, etc. Or maybe the other class was、uh, way too far across campus, and I didn't <laughs> want to go there. So yes, indeed, your schedule will change. So indeed, the answer to this question is: if you add new classes or drop out of any classes you've enrolled in, your tuition fees will be recalculated. By AMC University, so you might drop out of classes. Drop out means you just stop studying, either in school totally or of a class.、Uh, some people might drop out of school, for example, to work for the family or something like that. Who knows? And of course,、uh, enrolling means you're actually going to start taking classes.、Uh, you, of course, have been accepted to a university. But then the next step is to actually enroll, and once you enroll, you need to start paying. And if your schedule changes and stuff like that, if you add classes or if you drop out of classes, then your fees will be recalculated, which means they'll get out the calculator、mm -hmm. and the computer, and they'll figure out exactly how much you need to pay now. And this, of course, will alter the balance that needs to be paid. To alter something means to change it, and your balance is just the total amount of money remaining that is due. So that's the total. Always remember, the balance is the total that you still have remaining that you have to pay. That needs to be paid, and the remaining installments will be adjusted accordingly. If you adjust something again, you just change it a little bit.、Uh, here. Uh, if you drop a class, of course, your installment payment will be lower, which is great. So they'll 
they'll take that、uh, that sum of money that you save, and they'll just spread it out over the installments, and you'll have、uh, installments that are cheaper each month if you've dropped a class. Of course, if you've added a class, you're going to have to pay a little more. But that's how it works. Now, the next question is, how will I know if my installment amount has been recalculated? Yeah, indeed. How do you know that? How do you know that you're、uh, not paying more than you have to,、yeah. or if you're paying enough, if you're honest, or something like that? So that's a good question. Yeah, how do I know it's actually been recalculated? They've figured it out again. Well, the answer is you will receive an email from AMC University Financial Services to inform you about your recalculated tuition and remaining installments. So this is how you know you'll get an email, an official email, from the University Financial Services. That's a department of the university that handles these sorts of things. And if you're told about something. And you're given information that you need to know. You are informed about that, so you will be informed about how your tuition is being recalculated, and you'll also be informed about your remaining installments, how many you have, and how much you need to pay for each of those installments. In addition, it says you can contact the financial aid office at any time. To receive up-to-date information regarding your payment plan, up-to-date means the most current information that they have. Notice that there are hyphens between these words. Up-to-date. Here we're using up-to-date as an adjective to describe what kind of information it is. So be careful with those up-to-date information. And if you're talking about something, and they use that word regarding, it just means it's about that thing that follows. So with respect to or concerning that thing that follows,、uh, I know oftentimes when I'm correcting my clients' writing in business,、uh, they're business people. They'll say regarding、uh, regarding our proposal、uh, or proposal B. Um, be careful with using regarding. I would sometimes use in terms of. It's clear in terms of this and that we're going to do this. So be careful with regarding. I see it used、um, too much. Mm, yeah, indeed, and、uh, I guess you could also say in reference to、mm -hmm. uh, having to do with your payment plan regarding your payment plan. So yes, indeed, you will receive up-to-date information. It will be updated all the time. Now, here's the next question:、uh, What happens if I fail to make a payment? If I、uh -oh. can't make a payment, if I didn't make enough enough money. At my job in the laundry service in the dormitory or something like that, I just didn't get enough money. I got sick. I couldn't work. I couldn't find a substitute. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, what happens? Will they kick me out of school? Will they tell my parents? Will they punish me? Will they take away my my textbooks and stuff like that? What's going to happen to me? Well, the first thing I would say is go talk to the financial aid office and tell them what happened. If you have、uh, something that you can't control, like illness. Overtake you, so just go talk to them first. But as far as this goes, it says if you fail to make a payment or you don't make a payment, you'll first receive an email from the office at once. They won't delay; they'll send it to you immediately. That's what at once means. You will incur additional fees for a late payment. If you are making a late payment, you can always be guaranteed to have to pay an extra fee. Because you、um, are sort of being punished, I guess you could say. If you incur something, it just means you have to do this. You're subject to something because of your own behavior, your own actions. You incur a fee, so it's something that happens because you don't pay on time. Moreover. In addition, you will be at risk of termination. To be at risk of something means you're in danger of something happening to you. What's termination, Tom?、Uh, ending, basically, termination oftentimes refers to being fired from a job. Uh oh. Uh, termination of employment, for example. In this particular case, it does refer to simply being kicked out of school. They're going to let you go. They will not allow you to study at the university anymore. However. Uh, I think you'll probably still be required to make the payments that you didn't make before. So don't think getting out of school gets you off the hook. No, they'll chase you down. They will find you. They will make you pay. I wanted to mention termination is the noun form of the verb terminate, and we often use this to talk about, for example, insurance policies. 
or health insurance policies. If you can't make a payment, they'll often write to you and say, "We're terminating your policy."、Um, I have some clients who work for an insurance company, and we see this word a lot: termination, terminate.、Uh, so if something terminates, it ends.、Uh, you'll often see it used by doctors to talk about someone's life ending. It's sort sort of a very formal way to say that someone died. Or if a prisoner、uh, is sentenced to death because they did something like kill people,、mm. uh, they will often terminate them. So it's kind of the very formal way of saying "end kill." Death. Yeah, termination is the end. Okay. Oh, like, remember the、uh, movie, The Terminator. There you go, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I think they made a sequel、uh, recently、mm. of that movie,、uh, Terminator.、Uh, Terminus is actually the the last station on a metro line. True. Like Tun Wan in Hong Kong, that's a terminus of one of the lines there, or、uh, you know, Sindian or whatever. I think here they use terminal station. This is、mm. the terminal station. That's right.、Yeah. Right. That's what they. Say you could say terminus as well, and as we've been talking about, terminate means to be、uh, fired from your job. True. Also related to death, there somebody might get a diagnosis from the doctor that you have a terminal illness, which means a disease that's going to kill you that、yeah. there's no cure for. So these are all terms that relate to the end of something, which is、uh, quite appropriate here as we are nearing the end of our article for. Today, but、uh, we still have to talk about a little bit more in this sentence. So again, if you don't pay on time, if you make a late payment, you will be at risk of termination of studies. You might get kicked out of school.、Uh, can we、different. say you might get expelled? Is that the same thing? No, you're expelled if you do something like hit a teacher or kick somebody. No, but I wanted to say this is different. Being kicked out is different than dropping out.、Mm, dropping out is your own choice. That's right. And being kicked out means it's against your choice, and that will look bad if you try to apply for a job in the future. Hey, explain this. How come you didn't finish university? Well, I got kicked out of school. You're a naughty boy. We're not going to hire you. <laughs> Get out of here. Try to find a job someplace else. So it's best. It's in your interest to try to keep studying until the very end. And then it goes on to say. Here you do risk termination of your studies if a full payment is not made by the deadline. And we did talk about the word deadline before.、Mm -hmm. That just means the last time that you can pay something or turn in some kind of assignment or finish a job. So it's the latest time or date by which something should be completed. So hopefully no one is、uh, suffering or struggling with their tuition payments right now, guys. We're going to listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. 欢迎收听 English Digest， 我是 Sunny。今天我们要一起阅读多义单元的第二天课程 ，Payment Plan Frequently Asked Questions 付款方案常见问题。我们先看到标题的三个英文字 ：Frequently Asked Questions。Frequently 是副词，意思是经常的、频繁的。Ask 在这里是过去分词，当做形容词来用，意思是。被问到的，因此 frequently ask questions 就是指常被问到的问题，也就是我们所谓的常见问题。我们常常在网站上的一些导览会看到 F A Q 三个字，指的就是 frequently ask questions。英文里面常用这类的 acronym A C R O N Y M 首字母的缩写，例如。WHO 就是 World Health Organization 世界卫生组织 ，ATM 就是指 Automatic Teller Machine 自动提款机，而 NBA 就是 National Basketball Association 美国国家篮球协会。一些比较有趣的 acronym 像是 TGIF Thank God It's Friday。感谢上帝，今天是星期五。L O L laugh out loud， 大笑。B R B 就是指 be right back， 马上回来。学会一些常见的 acronym， 可以让我们更贴近 native speaker 的日常用语，也能让我们的英文更到地。
。接下来我们看到第一个问题 ：How can I pay these installments? 我要怎么付这些分期付款？在这里有介绍了几个付款方式，都是非常实用的哦，像是 by credit card 用信用卡 ，in cash 用现金 ，by check 用支票。在结账的时候，我们会听到店员问 ：“Would you like to pay in cash or by credit card？” 你想要用现金付款还是用信用卡呢？另外，这一段还提到用网路付费，我们就可以说 ：“Pay for something electronically via the website。”透过某个网站来电子付费，例如 ：“You can pay for all the products electronically。” Via this shopping website, 你可以透过这个购物网来付所有产品的钱。再来，我们看到第二个问题 ：What happens if I change my class schedule during the semester? 如果我在学习中更动课表会怎么样呢？在这一段里面出现的 balance 这个字 ，balance 在这边的意思不是指平衡，它是指某笔款项中。剩下来要付的余额，而 balance 也可以指银行或是邮局账户里面的余额。例如 ，The current balance in my bank account is ten NT dollars. 我银行账户里目前的余额是新台币十元。在这里，我们可以多学一个和 balance 相关的名词，那就是 deposit. D E P O S I T. Deposit， 它的意思是定金、押金或是存款。例如 ，She paid a five thousand NT dollars deposit and will pay the balance in six months. 她付了新台币五千元的定金，然后分六个月付清余额。再举一个例子 ，I make a deposit of three thousand NT dollars into my savings account. Every month, 我每个月都会存新台币三千元到我的储蓄账户里。我们接着来看第三个问题 ：How will I know if my installment amount has been recalculated? 我要如何知道我的分期付款总额被重新计算了呢？这段里面有一个动词 inform。inform 的意思是告知。如果我们要说，告知某人一件事情，我们可以说 inform somebody of something， 或是 inform somebody about something。例如 ，If you see this man, please inform us of his whereabouts as soon as possible。如果你看见这名男子，请尽速告诉我们他的下落。我们也可以说 inform somebody， 再加上一个。That 子句，要注意的是，如果你 inform against somebody 或是 inform on somebody， 意思就会变咯，它就变成告发某人的意思。例如 ，If you cheat on this exam, I will inform against you。如果你在这次考试作弊，会去告发你。接下来，我们看到最后一个问题 ：What happens？ If I fail to make a payment, 如果我未能付款会怎么样？这段里面有一个动词 incur, i n c u r. Incur 的意思是招致费用的开支或是钱财损失。例如 ，The government has incurred huge debts. 政府已经负债累累。以上就是今天的多义课程。谢谢大家收听。Okay, everybody. Let's continue with our lesson for today. It's all about these frequently asked questions in regard to. 
payment plans for university. And now we've got some discussion questions. We're going to talk about these things and、uh, ask these questions,、okay. and then try to answer them. And hopefully, all of you will be inspired to do the same with your classmates. Hey, try it. You know, it may improve your speaking ability. So here we go. Here's the first question、mm. I've got for you, Stephanie.、Okay. What is the most expensive thing you've ever paid for? <laughs> How did you pay for it? Well, besides school,、uh, one of my master's degrees at Eastman School of Music, I think each year costs like twenty five thousand U.S. dollars.、Mm. Now, I did have a scholarship, but even that wasn't enough because I had to pay for my living expenses too back east. It was expensive, but beyond school or besides school, probably my car. Yeah, my car、yeah. was probably the most, and I I had of course to take out a car loan. That's what we call it, a car loan. And I think it took me three years to pay for it. I paid it off in three, three years. years、yeah. huh? How many?、Yeah. How much money did you have to pay? It's pretty each cheap.、Month? It's pretty cheap. And I, I worked for. What were the installments? For, yeah, I worked for the Mitsubishi company at the time, and so I got a great deal on a car.、Uh, maybe like a hundred and. Fifty, hundred seventy-five, maybe. Hmm. Okay, that's not too bad in、no. U.S. dollars. No, not、uh, bad. Similarly,、uh, to me, I think most people,、uh, the most expensive things they're、uh-huh. going to have to pay for are their cars or their houses. houses okay,、yeah. and usually you get a loan for those things. And if you're going to pay for those things, you need to make monthly payments.、Mm. Uh, I have never owned a home myself.、Uh, I don't think I'll probably ever be able to afford one, at least here in Taipei. It's expensive here.、Uh, yeah. Too expensive. I may be able to afford a house. Say in Gaoshang or something like、oh, that.、Uh-huh. I've heard of people who bought a nice house down in Gaoshang,、oh, you know,、retire. or some other places. And it's a nice city. It's sunny down there and stuff like that. And、uh, cost of living is cheap. But in any case, I suppose the most expensive thing I've ever paid for、mm. is a car. And however, this was a deal that my wife made through her cousin or something.、Uh-huh. Got a good deal on a car, so、mm. uh, she made all the payments with money that I made. I actually don't know how much the <laughs> monthly payments were. I was too lazy to find out, and I figured my wife can take care of these things. And、uh, yeah, I don't really.、Um, Know how to pay for these things here in Taiwan, <laughs> so I just let her handle. Yeah, I'll just work and you take care of it.、Yeah. So you don't really handle the financial parts of life, okay? I got enough stuff to worry about. <laughs> well, I do have to worry about it. Now, here's the next question, Tom.、Hmm? Um, how do you pay for most things in your daily life? Daily expenses, yeah. Daily expenses, or even、okay. monthly, like you know, just cost of living, yeah.、Uh, well, it's kind of interesting because here in Taiwan, cash is king. Okay, yes, it everything is. Everything is in cash. Uh, in the U.S., when I had my part-time jobs during university and、mm-hmm. afterwards,、uh, everything was in the form of a paycheck. Yeah, sure. And you took the paycheck down to the bank and deposited it in the bank. And then you would use checks from your own personal checking account to pay for things. I did that to pay for bills, you know, utilities、yeah. and things like that. But I also had to go to the ATM machines to、mm-hmm. get cash、uh-huh. to pay for smaller things、yeah. like groceries and food and stuff like that. So that's how I paid. Paid for things there, but here in Taiwan, everything、mm. is cash. So every time I get paid, I get paid in cash, and I deposit、uh, hopefully most of it in the bank, and then I keep the rest in my pocket to pay for daily expenses. What about the yo-yo car? I mean, a lot of people are putting. Money on those cards? Do you use that?、Uh, I haven't gotten quite that far yet. I, I use like, it to pay for my、yeah. transportation, you know, buses and MRT yeah, and MRT stuff like buses, that. Yeah, MRT buses. Yeah. But、uh, I don't use it to pay for things at、uh, convenience stores. Do you know、like、why I of, don't? Why not? Because I've lost those cards,、uh, yeah, and I think、yeah. I don't want to put a lot of money on those and lose it. So I don't、yeah. trust myself. But I pay for most things in cash. It's a good point,、hmm. and、uh, so therefore maybe there are pros and cons to you. Using your yo-yo card for paying for different things.、Yeah. So there you go. There's our discussion questions for today. Hopefully, all of you will have conversations just as lively as the one we just <laughs> had. Okay, that brings us to the end of our program for today. That's all we have. So please join us again next time for another edition of English Digest. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye.、Bye.